When dealing with the task of victim location, electronic listening and viewing equipment can make the rescuer's task much more efficient. The Delsar LD3, in a 2, 4, or 6 sensor configuration, can pick up the faintest of sounds. Or the search cam family of victim locating cameras can look into the smallest of places. Whether it is a collapsed building, confined space, or below grade event, it is often very difficult and time consuming to physically get into an area to perform a search without placing the rescuer at a high level of potential harm. The easiest victims to remove from the environment are the ones rescuers see when they arrive. Once these victims are removed, the Delsar and search cam systems are deployed for further victim detection. The Delsar Life Detector is comprised of the LD3 interface, headset, seismic and acoustic sensors, and mounting attachments. The LD3 unit's display provides a visual bar graph of the noise and vibration levels being picked up by a particular sensor. Different types of materials will transmit vibrations differently, so it's important to place all of the sensors on the same type of materials and avoid placing the sensors on sound absorbing materials such as carpet, vinyl, and drywall. When performing a primary area search with the Delsar Life Detector, place as many sensors as possible around the area to maximize the coverage area. Sensors should be positioned firmly on solid material and oriented in the same direction. A written log of these placements should be made in the form of a placement diagram. By calling to the victims and requesting them to knock three times, the vibrations are picked up on the LD3 interface. Tapping is more effective because sound waves carry better across solid conductors than through the air. If three knocks are detected on any of the sensors, note the signal strengths on your placement diagram. If possible, have the victim repeat the three knocks to verify the distress call. If a victim is detected during the primary search, a secondary search is done to determine the victim's location. The sensor which showed the highest signal strength and or the highest pitched frequency will be the one closest to the victim. Sensors can be moved around this area and the knocking can be repeated until the victim's location is determined. To utilize the sensors on a variety of materials, several sensor accessories are available. The spike is used to allow the sensor to pick up vibrations in the ground by increasing the ground contact. The magnetic attachment allows for solid contact on steel or other metal materials. Simple care and maintenance is all that is needed to keep the Delsar operational and ready for use. A cloth can be used to clean the sensors, display, and cables. If needed, a damp cloth with mild soap can be used as well. Be sure to use the protective caps on the ends of all connectors when they are not connected. Deformed connectors will not mate properly. There are times when a visual locating device like the Search Cam 3000 is needed. This camera allows the rescuer to look inside an area without physically going into the space. The Search Cam 3000 gives rescuers the ability to see, hear, and speak with victims trapped in void spaces. Modular in design, the camera can be expanded or contracted depending on the situation. Using the environmental sleeve, the camera head is waterproof and detachable. The system is shipped with either a color camera or infrared camera. Detaching the tube set from the camera head and attaching the rope with a coupler turns the Search Cam 3000 into a handheld search camera or cable probe that can be lowered up to 75 feet into any void space. The standard telescoping tube set extends from 41 inches to 92 inches. With the addition of the long telescoping tube set, voids as deep as 164 inches may be searched. Utilizing the extension handle, the camera converts to a Super Probe 3000 and expands to 18 feet. The Search Cam 3000 records video and captures still photos which can be played back and reviewed during the search. Still images can be reviewed or transferred to a computer via secure digital card. 
The headset plugs into the video display unit, so rescuers can hear sounds picked up by the camera head microphone and can talk to the victim via the microphone speaker located on the camera head. The 240-degree articulating camera head located on the end of the tube set or cable provides rescuers with the enhanced ability to see and communicate with trapped victims. The camera head is easily inserted into a two-inch hole, which can be made quickly using the search cam breaching system. This gasoline-powered boring tool powers through ordinary building materials as well as concrete to allow quick access for the search cam. There are smaller, lightweight victim location cameras in the search cam product family, the Recon 2 and Mongoose. These compact cameras have many of the same features as the search cam 3000. When utilized with a Delsar LD3 Mini, rescuers can perform hasty searches and cover more area quickly. To improve interoperability, the SearchCam 3000 and Delsar Life Detector utilize the same lightweight lithium-ion batteries. Gang chargers reduce recharging time by charging multiple batteries at the same time. Locating victims is a time-sensitive operation. Tools like the SearchCam 3000 and Delsar Life Detector hasten victim location and improve victim survivability, resulting in more positive outcomes. The search cam cameras and Delsar life detectors, now manufactured by Conspace Communications, are the originals in the field of technical rescue. They are time-proven, reliable, field-tested, and easy to use. First responders rely on the originals to save lives.